What's up, G1 Nation? Sean Hines here, and I'm on the show floor at PAX Prime 2014, and we just got the opportunity to check out Toy Soldiers in the Ubisoft booth. This is Toy Soldiers War Chest, and I'm joined by Chris Rubior. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing really well. Thanks for coming. And what do you do for uh, Signal Studios on the Toy Soldiers franchise? Well, I'm a game director uh, on the project, so I work with the design team, I work with the production teams, help scheduling, helping the designers uh, with system design and gameplay and stuff, so I'm kind of a jack of all trades on the project. Renaissance man of toy soldiers, you might say. Kind of, yeah. So you guys, this is the first time you guys have teamed up with Ubisoft at this franchise. Uh, what sort of new opportunities has that opened up for you? When we first kind of conceived toy soldiers, it was always about bringing all these toys together, you know, recreating those childhood battles uh, from our imaginations and bringing them to life. So Ubisoft was really good about saying, hey, let's go with your original vision and let's go for it. And so that's... The demo I got to play was I was Kaiser fighting against the Starbright Army. Yes. Tell me a little bit about the Starbright Army. She's a lot of fun. She has a lot of personality. Her army consists of uh, characters like buddy bears, pixies and fairies. Um, you get some really cool weapons of, of war like bubble gun turrets and snail uh, comet lobbers, which are these really fun artillery pieces. So she's a really fun character and we're really excited. The one thing I, I noticed, I mean, it's a violent game, like not in a negative way, but like I'm killing waves and waves of these things. But somehow you guys have managed to make it look like it it doesn't hurt the fact that I just decimated these buddy bears with a giant, you know, uh, our, our piercing bullet or something. Like, what's the trick there? Because it seems like that would be difficult. They're toys. At the end of the day, you're looking at toys on the battlefield, and what happens when you say tear a hole into teddy bear? Stuffing comes out. So. We tried to capture, you know, that magic. You know, sure, it's battles on the, you know, these big battles, but in the end, it's just toys battling it out and having fun. And so, War Chess is going to be coming out on PS4, Xbox One, PC, early 2015. All right, thanks, Chris. Appreciate your time, man.